Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First of all, we thanks to God because He has given me this chance to stand before you. Really, it is a great privilege and honor to be to stand before you the sharing because I suppose this time because sharing God's is the greatest time for this universe. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's turn with me according to the gospel Luke chapter 18 verse 1 through 8 I'm reading for all of you and he spoke a parable to them to show that men should always pray and not lose heart saying in a certain city there was a judge who did not fear God and did not respect men and there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying get me justice against my enemy and he would not for a while but afterwards he said to himself even though I do not fear God respect men yet because of this widow this troubling me I will get her justice or she will she will wear me out by her continual coming and the Lord said here what the unjust judge said and will not God obtain justice for his chosen ones who cry out day and night to him also bearing patiently with them I tell you that he will bring about justice for them quickly nevertheless when the son of man comes will he find on will he find faith on the earth this is the word of God hallelujah so before I start sharing the God's word I want to ask you one question how many of you pray How many of you pray when you get the timing or or when you just or you have set the timing for the prayer? Because why I ask this question? Because whenever if I meet people or when I say do we pray, most of the people they say they smile and they say yes of course we do pray. So again oh really this is the real disciples of God. And, and again I get more excited and just again I ask question for what you are praying for so they said the country nations child marriage financial promotion the list goes and the like that so this so today this the same parable we are going to meditate this what we are just we should do just focus as a genuine believer to God. So here this parable is familiar to all of us as we read this parable. I, I think most of you have been go through this parable because all you know these parables. What is the what is the here the context is here. So here I am going to explain you the four aspects to get better understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So here, first expense is what I'm going to tell you. The Lord's illustration. The second one is Lord's intentions. And the third one is Lord's interpretation. And the fourth one is Lord's intercession. Lord's illustration is in the context here. The context here, there was a man in Israel city the man was judge he was not a good judge but he was wicked judge in the that city in the same city there was a same widow also the widow what she was telling just she was trying to approach his justice to that judge the particular judge but the judge is not listening he is not bothering. Why? She kept on coming every day, every day, every day. When we read here, we just, just, we see the year. Even that 
जज ही डिड नॉट फियर गॉड और इवन मैन इट मीन्स ही वॉज फुल्ली अगेंस्ट द फास्ट कमांडमेंट वॉट इज द फास्ट कमांडमेंट लॉक द लॉर्ड योर गॉड विथ ऑल योर हार्ट माइंड सोल एंड बॉडी एंड सेकेंड कमांडमेंट इज लव योर Neither as yourself. So it means first he did not follow the first commandment, and the second one is he was not giving heart to neither. So here this judge is he was his character was this fully wicked here. So here in that same city here there was also widow. So here what is happen here the city why because. when we read and when we go through the commentaries of all the things in the books when you just dig inside the year in those time here in jesus times there was a they were fully familiar with judge the children of israel they were very comfort with judges because the judges were for the justice for the needs of the people for for them only they have they have appointed they were not biblically appointed but the judges were appointed by the society so children of the so children of the israel they were so much familiar with judges but here in this time in jesus ministry time the courts does not belong to women but why this women is coming every day for for her justice for for her there is no husband there was no son there is no brother nothing so here just jesus took a took a example like a widow like a marginalized just widow who was not even the just considered as a people in the israel so here jesus took one just simple like a lowest example to put in that place to widow man this is the context the lord's in the lord's intention why this why what was the reason jesus was trying to disciples this is here jesus was teaching to his disciples when we read verse 1 and 2 and he spoke a parable to them that man should always pray and not lose heart not lose heart to whom he is telling jesus is telling to his disciples why why we should always pray why we should not lose our heart why we should not pray why we should not fasting why we should all, always pray what was the intention here jesus when we go when we deep on text this is the ending of the chapter previous chapter luke chapter 17 you to read jesus was teaching jesus was telling about his second coming on this earth so before he comes these things will take place before he comes that time there will be great persecution there will be great revolution there will be so much So Jesus here Jesus was trying to teach his disciples we should always pray How many of you want to see Jesus coming as a literal I mean more I Yes of course I am very happy Do you want to see Jesus coming This is the great promise God has given to us We should of course we should pray for our needs for our fever for our exam for our wow, wonderful i am not saying that that is not good good at the same time we have to pray for second coming here this is the what they were pray jesus was trying to that is why at the last verse is saying that when son of man comes will he find faith on earth when jesus will come at the time there will be less faith it means we will go through very good times troublous times because there is a 
great tribulation before he comes. So there is going to take place Jesus coming. I am not going to see Jesus Christ like literally coming. This is our hope, man hope. That time we will be taken place with Jesus. That time will be the rapture. When Jesus will come with clouds, we will be take place with Jesus. Yes, of course, I am so much excited. I want to see Jesus Christ as a literally coming on the horse, the riding. Don't you want? Yes. Second coming, we have to pray for the sick. We need to pray. Yeah, so here, this is the real intention here. The Lord's here, the interpretation we need to understand here. These, they were, they were fully. So here, this judge was so much wicked. In the Old Testament, and the same, same when we read, when we read here, Second Chronicles, I just, I just listen because this is no time. Second Chronicles, chapter 19, verse 4 to 7. If we read clearly, we can understand the life of Joseph. All the, all the judges, they knew who, who was appointed in the, in the judiciary, in the law, and the Jews. They knew the, the responsibility. They know what is the responsibility. What was the responsibilities for the judge? They knew. But, so, but when you read in the history of the Israel, some of the judges were not just. They were not right. Some of the judges were corrupted. They were wicked. Not in the Old Testament also, but also in the life of Jesus. That is what the people were telling that as a robber, the one who just run after the money. So here we need to understand here. So we should we should always pray for for his coming. For that time we we'll pray. We should not. Of course we have to pray. This is the we should pray. That is what God has taught us. We need to pray for ourselves. We, we need to pray for our country. We need to pray for our health. Of course, right, wonderful. But at the same time, my dear brothers, I'm just I want to encourage you. We need to pray for the also. The second coming. We have to wait. We have to be with him forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we have to pray without ceasing. Jesus, he was always dependent on prayer. Before he calling to his 12 disciples, he depended on the prayer. On the cross also himself, he prayed. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? In the wedding of Canaan also he prayed and he did miracle. Even Jesus was praying, so how much we should not be prayed. So this is the great challenge for us to pray always. Always means we should not set a limited time here. We have a hope. So my so here this is the widow here. Widow means here we are the widow. Believers, disciples, children of God here. So we have to pray for, in this church, in this world, we, we don't have faith. We don't have hope. We preach, but people, they look for us. People, they blame us. No problem. Just keep on praying. If this judge, only judge, he did not, when we read, because of his person still continuously, when she repeated, then lastly he get just he got irritated and he get justice. So even this worldly judge, we can forgive things about our heavenly father. He loves us so much. So my dear friends, we have to pray always. Our God is loving Father. He is compassionate Father. We have to pray always. We should not be we should not be limited, limited on our own thoughts. God, we have the great, great blessings for us. We need to pray always or just we have to set the for, for everything at the same time. This is the what we see on this, on this day. So today what we learn, we have to pray always. We, have, we should not be lost because my dear friends, last time when Jesus will come, there will be great, there is things is going to take place. So there will be 
less faith. The first will be last and last will be first. So my dear friends, so just today I want to encourage you, just, just activate our faith and just stand firm with God. No matter what the circumstance comes, no matter what the, what the difficult comes. Hallelujah. Let's stand our faith and just we are going to bind up the service. Thank you, Father, for this time, Father. O oh Lord, bless us, Father, to understand your word, Father. O oh Lord, as we meditate your word, Father, sometimes it's very difficult to understand your word and put it into practice, Father. O oh Lord, as we are weak, the humanity, Father, Father, bless us to keep very observant, Father, in our heart and for everything who is surrounding us, Father. O oh Lord, help us to pray always, Father. Help us to hope that you are coming with us so that we, we will be forever with you, Father. Father, I pray for this. All the brothers, Father, you just, Father, you take care of them for everything in their needs, Father. You place your word in their heart and just you, just in, in alignment, Father, of their, all the needs, Father. Thank you for once again, I submit all the brothers, Father, into your mighty care. I ask in most precious name, I humbly pray. Amen.